Hey everyone, so I thought I'd try something new. Seeing as we're coming to the end of the year, I thought I'd put myself on the comfort zone a little bit. So I've decided to try and record a video just to see what happens, see where it goes. Um, I thought I'd do something I enjoyed to start off with, just to see how how it is, if I like it, if I feel comfortable enough or confident enough. So I thought I'd start off with Master League, I have been doing my own Master League. On the side, um, but... I thought I'd do something new. I'm not going to do the team I support because I'd probably take that too much to heart. So I've done some research. I thought we'd start in the championship. I've been looking through the different teams. At first I was going to do Wickham. Um, because obviously they've just been promoted. I thought I'd go for that challenge. But I prefer a squad with a small amount of players in. Just to start off with because I don't want to sell half of the squad before we even started just because of the ratings so I had to think, I thought what teams haven't been in the Premier League for a while at first I was thinking of Birmingham or Blackburn but obviously they've got quite a few players so um, I jumped down and I thought about QPR I decided to choose QPR, I've done some research into them but not a lot so um, if you are a QPR fan and I sell half of it the good players in the squad are your favourite players, I apologise. I'm purely going off ratings and personal preference. Let's have a look what goals they want us to try and achieve. Eighth position. Hmm... What responses do we get? Because I normally get a suggestion to go up the league with the teams I pick. Top half. Let's just see what he says with the top half. 16th or higher. I think that's achievable quite easily. 8th I'm not sure about. There's obviously the likes of Watford and Bournemouth now in the championship. I know they're only two teams but there are other ones out there that are going to be a challenge or stronger. So we'll obviously finish higher than 16th, I certainly hope so. But for a first season, oh yeah, it's a modest objective. For a first season, we'll see how it goes. We'll see where we end up, how easy it is. And then obviously if we get to season two, the goals will be adjusted. So 16th or higher, that's a fairly relaxed objective. But obviously we're going to be trying to push as high as possible. I think the first season will probably just be about establishing ourselves, getting the team a bit better, um, getting them to try and be ready season two for that higher finish. Uh, depending on how well we do with the transfers, maybe try and push for that playoff position season two, if not then season three. So let's see how this goes. I'm not going to try and sign too many players. I think again I had a quick flash just to see over the positions. There's going to be a few mixing about of positions. So the championship, I'm not too familiar with every single team. Let's have a look. It's, it looks like quite a nice start. Minus Norwich. It looks like a nice start. It's, um, I haven't 100% a clue where I'm going to aim to be in the table. Obviously we've got to get at least 16th. I'd hope maybe mid-table. Maybe about 10th, 11th. We'll see how we get on. Because I'm not too familiar with all of the team's ratings. And the players' ratings and whatnot. Training regimes. Scouting. I am probably going to get the scout to do the transfers. I'm going to get to have a look for us. For players. I know what you end up getting them a lot cheaper. That way as well. But obviously we haven't got the greatest budget in the world. That is a lot lower than I was expecting. I was expecting maybe 3 million transfer and a couple of mil, Well, not a couple, maybe a million at most salary or 700k. So that's a bit disappointing, but it adds to the challenge. So let's look. Run through the squad. 
Um, so we've got Kelly, he's obviously going to be the main goalkeeper, he's rated 68, he's only 24, so he's a good starter for now, a couple of skills, I'm going to pay attention to the skills and the playing styles as well. To influence it, is he an offensive? Yes, I've done some research, apparently offensive goalkeepers are always the best version to have. Got Dieng, he's what, 26, he'd be a good backup, how old's Barnes, 24. I'm going to transfer this Barnes, he's already been transfer listed, I don't know why, maybe that's based off real life, so that's fine with me. And he's loan listed as well, oh he's already out on loan, that's why, okay. Right, so he's on loan, I'm probably going to end up selling him, he's only rated 61. He's on a full year long loan, so yeah, he'll probably leave at the end of the season. So I'm happy with the goalkeepers, Kelly looks fine, the end's good back up. Um, I don't know if Dieng plays mainly, I did have a look at some of the starting 11 from the last few games and it looked like he'd started a few, I don't know if I've just looked at it wrong, but Kelly will be the main to start. Again, I'm not too familiar with the squad, so any QPR fans that know the team better, sorry if I make a mistake, I'm just going off the ratings and the skills and whatnot. Barber is 27, rated 72, he's obviously going to be a starter. Um quite a few skills in there, so he's going to be a main one. If I say any name wrong, I'll apologise in advance. I've already seen a few that I'm a bit worried about, but we'll try. Um, Dicky, let's see, 24, 68. I'm quite happy with that, to be fair. I'm not expecting, you know, Champions League quality. I'm just used to seeing higher numbers, so I'll have to get a bit more used to it. Um, Individual stats don't look amazing, but it's just because of the amount of red. Obviously, the numbers, the heading's not too bad because it's better than Barbets as well, so that looks all right. We'll keep him in. Masterson is only 22, so we'll be trying to get him maybe rotated about with Dicky. Um, seeing as there's only one rating off and there's two years between them. He's got heading and interceptions as well, that's quite good. So we'll start it off with that. Um, Hawkins, how old is Hawkins? 20, mm. Um, let's see, I'll come back to him because if I'm right, that defensive midfielder I'm thinking of, he was American, is it Ball or am I I'm wrong, who is it? Cameron, that's it. If I'm right, I'll check it with the game plan, but Cameron should be able to play centre-back at the same rating, and although it's only 66, I'd rather have him in centre-back at the minute. Especially with him being 35, he's a veteran, I remember seeing that. I'd rather have him in centre-back than have to buy a new one and risk missing out on a position we need more. So I'll probably transfer this tokens now I've seen that. And then we'll have Cameron in defensive mid. Left-backs, the first name I'm worried about, Hamelain and Hamelain, and I'm not sure. I'll say Hamelain, and if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Um, offensive full-back, he's finished. He's 23, it's 68, that's fine. How old's Wallace? 33. Skills, that's all, yeah. So he's got the game and ship, he's got captaincy, he's got fighting spirit, early cross, amazing run. So, from the look of it, a bit more of an offensive, yeah. Same as Hamelain, which is good. I like playing a bit more offensive. I like some of these stats as well. The speed looks nice for him. Good stamina, good shot power. Not shot power, acceleration, good jump. So, yeah, we'll probably have him as the main one, and then we'll keep Wallace. But maybe a backup, maybe rotate them, they are the same rate, and I know Wallace will go down as we go along, and his stats aren't as good. But he's got a few skills here that look good. Uh, some of the young ones might try and train up, if we get them up enough overall, they might be able to stay in the long term. Should we be able to get Premier League place a few seasons or two down the line? Right backs came, 27, rated 69. Again, not to insult any fans if they do watch, but just going off the ratings, nothing massive there stands out to me about these stats, but he's got some good skills and some good playing styles, so we'll be keeping him. I'm not going to sell him. Um, and we've got Kakai as well. That may well be KK, I'm not sure. I'm going to say Kakai. Um... 23 rated 66. Mm, 
Speed and bullet, yeah, he's got good speed. We'll keep him as a backup for now. I'll see how he goes on. I won't play him in too many starting matches from the look of it. I'm going to try and put out a bit of a mix between a mixed squad and a strong squad just to see where about we are with things. So I'm pretty happy with the defence, provided Cameron can go into that centre-back position. And so far only Masterson's going, obviously Barnes is at the end of next season. But otherwise I'm happy. I am going to have a back four, it's not going to be a three formation, so that's okay. Amos, I remember seeing good things about 23 years old, good stamina. Hopefully the training for each of these players will get them up a bit. Do we have any tall defenders? Let's see, 187. Masterson's quite tall, Barbet's quite tall, TMI players has got a tall defender in particular, who's quite good, so I like seeing tall defenders personally, that's a good thing. Amos, yeah, he's going to start. I'm thinking it's either going to be a 4-3-3 or a 4, we'll, we'll have a look, we'll have a look at the game plan. But I do like to have a, a large midfield and just the one striker up front, usually maybe with some wingers, we'll have a look. But Amos is going to be starting. Ball is 25. So I will keep him in the running because he's got some better stats with the jump and the physical stamina and whatnot. A couple of good skills. I do like seeing gamesmanship in there. That's quite good. So I'll have a look at Ball. He seems a bit more defensive from what I've seen. And command, yeah. Amos, box to box. I like that. So we'll keep him in the running. We'll see how it goes. Um. Cameron is the American. I'm going to put him centre-back. He's got good stamina. Jump's not bad. I like a player that can jump in defence for corners. Gresham seems good. He's got the captaincy and the fighting spirit. I'm not sure who the captain for this team is. So we'll have a look. Um, and go from there. I know there's a few at captain captaincy that I've seen. Owens, 23-63. <sighs> We'll end up with two defensive midfielders and Amos and Ball. So I think maybe we'll sell Owens. We'll put him on the transfer list. I've got the two defensive mids. I'm probably only going to have one in the formation. Carroll. This is onto the centre mids. 28 rated 70. That's quite good. I like the passing stats. So we'll be keeping him. No, oh, he's got one such pass. That's okay. So yeah, we'll keep him. Um, oh, Batache, I'm going to call him Batache, I might be completely wrong, it might be Bataki, I'm not sure, I'll call him Bataki, we'll go with that, box to box, 20 rated 61, I'll put him on the transfer list as well, I know again we're not, we need all the resources we can get, but I'm not really going to play a 61 rated player at the minute, the silver is going to be the same, 18 rated 57. Uh, I'm trying to. Most part. I don't really. I'm not a master of how quick overalls go up on loan, but I doubt we'd get him to 19 rated 62 or anything, so I'll transfer this to silver as well. These players may be a lot better in real life, but as I've said, I'm just going off the. the ratings and the skills. Samuel, of course, he's going to be kept only 23. He's. Ridiculous speed stats. So he's definitely going to be an important person for this team. Obviously with Pez, the players that are on loan, or very few at least, are actually just putting Master League on loan. They are put permanent. Um, I have done a Master League with Everton, Everton, and Olsen obviously is on loan there, but he's down as a permanent player. So whether some players are in this list that are on loan, I don't know. But I'm just going on the fact that they're permanent. So yeah, we'll be keeping Samuel. He'll be a large part of the team at right mid. Adam Erno is fairly old now, isn't he? He's 33, but he's got good speed on him. He's got that gamesmanship, which Samuel has as well. So that's good. Um, Adam will be kept again as well as a backup 2025 contract. I've noticed a lot of these players. Yeah, nearly all of them around 2021 expiry so we will be lucky to get any signs in at this rate with the wage budget because i imagine samuel will want to rise before we even started because he seems to be quite an important player 
Thomas, how old's Thomas? 23. Mm. Adam is getting on a bit. He's only 23. We'll put him out on loan, I think. Yeah, we'll loan him. Um, purely because, obviously, if there's two right midfielders at the minute, I don't want to be missing out on a potential good player, or at least a starter, or a backup even for when Adam goes. So we'll put Thomas on loan, just so he's getting some game time. Che, of course, he's going to stay in the squad. I've seen he's obviously the number 10, I think. Um, some good stats here. Obviously, a lot of skills. So him and Samuel... Carol, by the looks of it as well, are all going to be players that start. Amos. Um, a lot of skills. A lot, of, Yeah, I'm liking it. We'll keep him in. Willock, again, good stats, so he'll be staying. Uh, he'll probably be the main left. He'll be on the left wing, and we'll have Samuel on the right. I'll see what his rating is on the wing, but otherwise he'll just be his right mid and be a bit further back. Alpha. 21 rated 62. He's got good speed. I think that's probably the only reason I'm debating keeping him. Because if he does get a game in now and again, he'll obviously increase his stats a bit. But at the same time, oh, he's a right winger, not a left winger. That changes things. Yeah, we'll transfer this to him. Obviously, if I've got the right midfielders, I'll be fine with them three. Dykes, let's see, he's the main striker. When I did a few matches before, just to get the volumes right, I was saving the videos I recorded and just trying to see how everything looked. He scored quite a few, he was quite a good player. And he's got the game and ship trait again, he's 25, so obviously he's going to be kept. Um, I'm not even going to try and guess this name, I'm just going to go with... Bon. I'm going to go with Bon, and if it's wrong, then it's wrong. Uh, if anyone knows, feel free to correct me. Some good skills. How old is he? He's 25 again. He's definitely going to be staying. I'll probably shuffle these to about, or if they're playing two up front, we'll have a look later, and then he'll be starting. Kelman is 19. This is quite a good striker for a young age for this team. Good speed, good jump, good stamina. No skills yet. But I'm liking the look of it. The only thing is if I loan him out and he doesn't go up too much, I'll be a bit good. But at the same time, whether we can afford... To, he'd only get a few appearances, I think. Unless one of the other strikers was injured. But where are these from? I don't know if Bikes is an international. I very much doubt that Bon is. I'm just thinking with international duty, we'll put him on the loan list. Maybe send out on a six month loan and then I'll see where I am in January and if I'm comfortable enough with the strikers we have, we'll pop him out on another six month loan. Ram killed 22 rated 59. I'll sell this one. Um, Yeah, I, t I tend to like double the amount of the position I need. So if we're playing one up front, I like two strikers. Obviously we've got three, yeah. We've got three right midfielders, but Adam are leaving soon. Leaves Thomas a chance. So in terms of signings, let's see. We need a left winger or a left midfielder to give Willock some competition. And we need... Let's see. Go back up to the top. I'm happy with the keepers. I'm happy with the defence. I'm going to say a centre mid, because obviously we're selling Batachi and we're selling the silver. So this leaves Carroll on his own. So we'll look for another centre midfielder. I have got enough defensive mids though. We've got Amos and Ball. Cameron's going at centre back if I'm right in his rating with centre back. Owens is getting sold. So we've got enough defensive mids if we can't sign him. So in terms of priority, I'm going to firstly go for a left winger or a left midfielder. I think we need to bring one of them in. We've only got the one attacking mid as well. So we'll probably prioritise trying to sign a left winger and then perhaps an attacking midfielder. Obviously the salary budget is very low, so I can't imagine we'd get anyone outstanding with it. 
We have a few transfer listed, but their salaries won't add up to a lot. Um, and we have a lot of contracts expiring as well that need to be renewed. So, I'll get into the contracts in a bit. Let's quickly jump over to the game plan. See what that's all about. Hmm. Yeah, th this is the sort of sort of formation I was looking at. Mine tends to be similar, except I just have these two as wingers. But obviously, we don't have wingers at all in this team. So as I said, we'll put Kelly in goal. Team spirit is probably going to be very low when I've put in my tactics that I prefer to play with. Hamelainen, you can be at left back. Bob and Dickie at centre back with Masterson having a chance to rotate 22 and 24. Hmm, should have put Masterson in. Should we? Who have we got first? Who's our first match? Luton Town. We'll put Masterson in for that game, so I'll put him at the start for now. And at right back, we'll put Kane. Let's see, 66-23. Yeah, we'll put Kane for now. Kakai probably only needs another overall to go up to 67, and then I'll probably start playing him a lot more. Defensive mids, Amos. Let's put him in defensive. Ah, Cameron, this was what I wanted to say. Yeah, 66 rating, so that's fine. We've got our fourth centre back. Like I said, I'd like to have double of each position. And then I'll put Carroll in central midfield with Amos. Chair up front. I may be saying that wrong as well, chair. It's just the spelling I'm going with. Uh, Samuel. Oh, he's better rated at right mid. Hmm. What position was Bullock by default? Left winger, yeah. He only goes up the one rating as well. Can I get Samuel close to that? If he is a right mid... Yeah, he is by default, isn't he? And he's rated 70 at left mid. Isn't he? Yeah. Mm. Just thinking, because obviously I wanted to sign a left mid. Samuel and Willock battled it out over the left mid position. It gives me Admir and Thomas. But obviously they're both strong players, so having them on the field at the same time would be that bit better. Yeah, we'll look for a backup left uh, left mid, left winger, whichever. But if we don't manage to sign one in time, we end up with a different position. I do have that option, at least, of putting Samuel on the left. Um, so we'll leave them like that, and then Dykes up front. That's fine with me. I'll go through the bench on the first match. Tactics-wise, let's have a look. Attack and possession. Oh, this might actually work in my favour, because this is how I prefer to have it. Uh, defensive, I am frontline pressure, preferably in the centre. Conservative, let's let me look at the video. Yeah, conservative compactness. Let's get them a bit more grouped in and put that defensive line up a little bit. Back to about there. Advanced instructions. I do like using centre and targets. But obviously it'll change for each game, but I do struggle, I'm not as advanced with tactics maybe as everyone else, I tend to have four on all at the same time, whether that's right I'm not 100% sure. So I've tended to use centre and targets, but not a lot. At first I was using Tiki Taka because I did struggle with keeping possession in the first match. I've played a similar Master League with... On the side, obviously, as I've said, that had a team spirit like this, and Manchester City absolutely thrashed them 6-1. Changed up the tactics a bit. I think the team spirit went up to about 59, and then we did quite well. We went a good chunk up the table. Did a lot better. Uh, Tiki Taka, and between centre and targets, and the wing rotation, I think it was the... Yeah, the wing rotation, there was another one I did. What was it? I'm not sure. I'll put wing rotation on for now, just to keep the space going. We'll see how that works. I, I may turn it off, we'll see. 
As for defense, I tend to use tight mark and encounter target. The counter target I'm going to put as chair because we're attacking down the center a lot. But I do like to advance up the wing and then bring it in. And then tight mark and we'll come on in match day, obviously, because we have to select the player for that. Very, very, I think that's the lowest team spirit we can get. Um, let's see, I'll put Barlet as the long free kick. The short. Carol again, Barbet's quite good. I'll put Barbet as it. Left and right. I'll put Carol as these because if Chair's a better rated player, I'd rather him be in the box for them. So we've done that, we've done that, that's all fine. So that's the game plan. Might be a bit of a, a mixed start. Given the team spirit now, I thought it was going to be promising, but that defence is completely wiped out. So it may not be as smooth a start as we thought. Let's have a look at the skill training. Jump down to the bottom here. Is anyone two for captaincy? Anyone for gaming shit? No. Long throw. Ooh, this might be quite good. We'll probably try and get these two started in the long throw. See if we can get them in the box. If the opportunity arises. Uh, as for, we could also have a look at the youth team. I don't tend to use the youth team to be fair. Because when I did I always sign the same players. But we do need a left mid. We've got Ola Kainen. Only 20 years old. And I wanted an attacker midfield. We've got Harrington. We've got... Yeah, and we've got Mockeridge. 1865, 1766, and 2069. Harrington's also English. It'd be nice to see some national talent come through. He's got some good skills. If all else fails and we can't manage to sign a player, we'll bring Harrington in. Although, actually, his first team salary would be quite high compared to these. Maybe Pichero instead then. We'll see how the salary budget looks. As for the left winger, I'll leave the weak spots in. I'm a bit curious to see what they come up with. So we'll have a look for that left winger. In I'll just put it in Europe. We'll see what comes out of it. And not in particular focus on. I'll also set one up for left midfield as well, just in case. Again in Europe. We'll see how that goes. So let's advance and see if the scout finds anything for us, if we get any offers. Took a while. Keeping an eye out on the likes of Bournemouth and Watford as well to see how the promotions go, how they do. Seven new players and some negotiations as well to look at. Let's have a look at the offers first. And I need to go through the contracts. St Mirren have offered a full transfer. How old is this? 20. For the sake of 20 grand, let's try and put it up to about 160. Because every pound is going to help here. Yeah. Next offer was Thomas, a six month loan. That seems, yeah, that's good to me. I'll do that and then we'll see how Adama does. Let's back up and then we've got him back in January if we need it, Thomas. And Ramkild has an offer from Clement. He's only 22. And they offered 165. Let's bump it up to 200. And see how that works out. So that's the offers gone through. Let's look at the scouting. We've got a right midfielder at the left mid. I know we can play at left mid, but I prefer seeing the default positions. I know you can change them over time. 29 now. Although I'm not overly keen on just buying young players, I wouldn't like someone who's only going to get a few seasons out of but a position that I need covering. 27, 67 and 2066. Very far. 
some good playing styles there as well. What salary? 80 grand salary worth 517. Let's have a look then at your boa. He's chairman. He's in the Eredivisie at the minute, so he's playing in Netherlands. Don't view him as a critical signing. I'm going to be a bit cheeky here. We're going to go for about 200k. He's only going to be able to have a three year deal, isn't he? Yeah, so we'll do that. We'll offer him. Yeah, we'll do the 65. It's a bit of a cheeky offer, but obviously the scouts help to get him put down. If he takes a 20 grand pay cut, I'll be quite happy with that, to be honest. Um, so that's a left wing we've gone for. We'll see how that goes. I'm quite happy to sign him if he comes out with it. Definitely a lot looking for a keeper at the minute. Um, centre backs I'm happy with, and your left backs I'm happy with, so that's not an issue. Barcelona always sign Mbappe. I don't know if that's with everyone's Master League, but every time I've done a Master League, he's always on the front page for Barcelona for about 200 million, yeah. Some transfers are already going underway. Galini also also signs for Liverpool. Jesse Lingard has gone to Wolves. He went to West Ham in my other Master League, so at least he's moved. Nelson has gone out on loan. Diego Costa has gone to Leicester. That'll be... Interesting. I am going to keep an eye on the Premier League. Maybe off camera, but just to see how that develops. I'll jump between the tables every now and then as well, see how everyone's getting on. Um, so yeah, we've got an offering for your Boa from Willem. Let's see if we have a response here. Thomas has left on loan. We've also got St. Clair being found. The club want a bit more on the transfer fee, that's fine. Although it says they're not warm to letting him go and before it said he's not a critical player for them. Clement have agreed to the higher fee. St Mirren have also done the same and we've had a few offers. Thomas has left on loan for six months so we'll keep an eye on his development. See how he gets on. Hawkins, yep, yeah, they've got the chance for you up to 160, so I'll accept that. Hawkins, South Scotland, puts our salary up 20k, that's nice. And offer for Patachi, let's have a look at this one. 28 to 61, Motherwell are also after him, so Hibs have jumped in quickly. 190, it's only what, was it 20? Yeah, only 20. Let's bump up to about 220, yeah, we'll put it there. Between the 220 and the 240 mark. Anyone else? Up to 206, I'll accept that. He's off to Clermont, he's off to France. Puts us up to 200k, I'm liking that. Um, should we sign you, Boa? Uh, I'll probably then look for that attacking midfielder. Here they are, they've put in an extra 12k, that's fine with me. We're getting virtually double his release fee, although we've never seen one used. Except for when I've bought a player and he's taken a big pay cut. So first sign him pretty quick. That's your Boa from Willem. See how he gets on. Um, we'll give him a shirt number as well. Once he's joined we have to advance first don't we. They brought me St. Clair in. Watch him be great player. Good speed but not as good as your Boas. I'm not too disappointed with that. So we've got our left winger. Let's see, let's change this up then now. So I want an attacker midfield, that was my next look. Um to be give someone some air uh, competition. Chair, I think it was, unless I'm saying his name wrong. So we've only got the one attacker midfielder. Yep, that was so the first sign was the left winger, so we don't have to worry about Samuel now. Especially now Thomas is out on loan to Wigan. I'm sure of a League 1 team now, but I know there are in other European teams for some reason. So a haul, I was a bit confused when I first saw that. I thought my option files glitched out a bit, but apparently not. Um, so yeah, some competition for chair. I may well be saying it wrong, I'm very sorry if I am. And then I think after that, well yeah, we'll be looking for a centre mid to give Carol some competition. And then I'll be quite happy with that. 
I'm a bit anxious about this game against Luton. We'll have to see how well it holds up with the team spirit. Because like I said, when I did that Master League on the side, 6-1 defeat, it changed up the tactics a bit. And I think the team spirit went up to 59 from 49. And something just switched. There's your power from Willem. New signing, taking his first press conference. Um, with the mods, obviously I've got the real stadiums mods, so we'll be seeing Loftus Road, we'll be seeing the other championship stadiums, except for the three teams got promoted from League One. I did do some searching, but I couldn't find their stadiums. I think it was Rotherham and two others, whoever got promoted last season. Um, I haven't been keeping up to date with lower league football as much as I used to. So yeah, your bow is joined. No QPR national call-ups. I do like that. It means that the energies are going to be good. Hawkins has left. Ramkill has left as well. That's fine. No scouting updates yet for that attack in mid. Still waiting for a response from Patachi. Your bow has joined. That's good. Jim Winger, that speed is sensational. Let's have a look at his training. Has he got something? Yeah, yeah, he's got prolific Winger. That's fine. So that's our new man with QPR shirt. St. Mirren, obviously, of Ad Hawkins. So that's our first signing. Not a bad one at all. Um, he'll probably be giving Willock a run for his money. We'll be giving him some competition. 22.69 and 20.66. So yeah, he'll be definitely... We'll be having them to fire it out. So we'll have our first match coming up against Luton. I am going to do that in the second video. This is pretty much just going to be a start off. Because I have rambled a bit. It's just to get the squad started up, get them ready, show you what we're dealing with, who we're looking to sign, what dead wood we're getting rid of. It's going to be a nice challenge with the budget. I wasn't expecting it to be so low, but obviously the scout has done quite well to start us off. With your boa, we've got Luton to start off with, but like I said, I'd like to do a strong squad, just so I know what I'm dealing with. I'll put. I might use them. I don't. I'm not too keen on these press conferences because of what I've noticed is the responses seem that you can select seem to trigger the wrong sort of speech I'd expect. I'll show you an example in this screen. There you go. I said that I might use them, and the objective. I know I don't have to follow it 100% on all of them, but it's saying to use them and win. Whereas if I put, I might not use them. I don't want to sound harsh and say he's not getting played, but at the same time, I've said I might use him and it's expecting me to use him. So I'm not massively keen, but that's just me having a moan. Hips have agreed to Patachi's transfer and Samuel's role's already changed to a leader. That's fine. I'll have to look a bit more into the roles. Uh, Patachi, yeah, that's fine. Patachi's off the hips. So that's most of the dead wood gone, I think. Let's have a quick nose. The goalkeeper, obviously, I want to go. Patachi is gone. Who's that? Owens needs to go as well. And Alpha, Rotherham and Ross County both talking to him. Kelman's on the loan list. We've got some people talking there as well. No one's after Owens yet. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, Chelsea Sound and Mertens, looking forward to that Luton Town match. Let's have a look at the news. Mbappe obviously going to Barca, Lorente's going to Manchester City, Alcacer has gone to Atletico, Perez has gone to Munich, Rodrigo has gone to Dortmund. A couple of interesting transfers here and there. I'd like to see how Jesse Lingard gets on at Wolves. Anthony Gordon has gone to Palmer on loan. That's an interesting move. Pepe Reina has gone to Leon, 38 years old. Right, so we'll keep an eye on the transfers. We'll keep an eye on the tables as the season goes on. We've got a very quick FA Cup match as well against Cardiff City. That'll be a fun one to have a look at. Um, I know the teams are in, yeah. 
not as well rated as they used to be. We've got Bournemouth as well, quite high. We've also we got Norwich and Forest as well. They're both quite good. Sheffield, Wednesday. Stoke, not too bad. Never Swansea, Watford. It's going to be a tough, a tough season from the look of it. We'll see how the team go. So we've made our first sign and we've got Yuboa in the squad at left wing. I'm interested to see how he does. Um, give him a quick squad number as well. Let's have a look what Steve give him. Put him at 19. Do I want him at 19? Good left wing number. Let's put him at 16. We'll give him number 16 and we'll see what he does there. So yeah, in the next video we'll go up against Luton Town. I'm hoping maybe for a good result, although given my experience with the team spirit being so low, we'll have to see how that one goes. And then we've got a bit of a tough time up against Norwich and Cardiff, so it's going to be a crucial win in the first game. With Norwich just coming down, they're going to be quite a tough squad for us. So we'll see what happens. We'll start up the next video looking at the formation, getting it ready for Luton. Um, and we'll have a look to see if we get any centre mids or attacking mids from the scout as well before that deadline day. It's the 22nd at the minute, so we've got until the 31st. We have a few days left until that deadline day. So if we need to panic by, we'll bring in that youth attacking mid. And we'll just have to play a couple of defensive mids if Carroll isn't up to a match, which is a bit... A bit of a put off because I do prefer that attack in football, but we'll see when the time comes. So that's what's going to come up in episode two. We're going to have Luton Town and we're going to have Norwich. I'm going to try two matches as a video. They're going to be 15 minutes matches, but like I said, I'll edit them out to be um, just the highlights or the main bits, anything interesting that happens. And yeah, we'll, we'll get QPR kicking off. Hopefully get that good start that we need. So we'll get that started up um, and we'll see how it goes. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in episode 2.